Since now I have access to a 3D printer, I started to look for parts that would enhance the performance of my C10. And I found three that I would highly recommend. Welcome to Big Some Hobbies. Today I'm going to talk about my recommendation for three best 3D print upgrades and mods for Axio SCX24 to take it to the next level of performance. Recently I picked up a 3D printer. Although I'm totally new to the world of 3D printing, since now I have access to a 3D printer, I started to look for parts that would enhance the performance of my C10, and I found three that I would highly recommend. I'll make sure to include the links to the 3D files in my video description, so make sure to check them out. If you have 3D printed parts for SCX24 that is not on my list, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear of them. So here's my list of top 3 performance enhancing 3D printed upgrades and mods. Number 1. High Clearance Links On Thingiverse, there is a STL file for SCX24 Deadbolt High Clearance Suspension Links by Derek B. In order to use it on C10, a bit of tweaking is needed, but once you get the correct lengths, the high clearance links makes a huge difference. Here you can see the clearance of my C10. It makes the links in the middle section almost parallel to the ground and it helps tremendously in climbing over rocks. Number 2. LCG Battery Tray It's a lower battery tray remixed by Nick3509. This one works with SCX24, Jeep JL, and C10. The nice thing about this file is that the designer added shock mounting position. So it works with both stock position and a bit of layback position which I am using. Additionally, it lowers the center of gravity by lowering the front mounted battery to sit as flush to the chassis as possible. And it is a bit lighter than the stock ESC tray that I was using as well. Number 3. Shock Preload Spacers Axio SCX24 Spacer or Dampers Preload by Lulu109 In my shock mod video, I added suspension preload using O-rings and flipping the plastic retainers which added roughly 3mm of preload. But I had to take the shock apart in order to install them. This 3D printed part makes the installation so much simpler. You just clip it in place after pulling down the spring and washer and no need to dismantle anything. It's a 2 second upgrade and a plug and play upgrade. Furthermore, it comes in 4 different sizes ranging from 2mm to 5mm. Personally for me, I'm really liking the 3mm preload on my stock shocks. So I'm still using the current setup. You might be asking why isn't a 3D printed wheels, especially the beadlock wheels not included in my list. I've run into a slight issue with it. On my SCX24, I have hot racing brass knuckles. The current design of the 3D beadlock wheels that I can find for free all uses 4 screws to tighten down the beadlock. But the screw head touches the HR brass knuckles and causes it to not to rotate correctly. It requires me to pick up hot racing plus 4mm steel drive stub axles part number SXTF39W04 to widen my axles before I can use it. And at the time of the video that part is out of stock. Therefore I have it removed from my recommended list. If you are using stock knuckles then you should definitely look into it but I will still print out of all three parts first. I hope that you found the three best 3D print upgrades and mods discussed today informative and useful. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Big Some Hobbies.